Hello, my name is Matthew Mickno, the Director of Coaching at Procrease Goaltending. I'm Kelly Babstock. I'm Sydney Rossman. I'm Amanda Boulier. We play for the Connecticut Whale. Today we're going to do a little bit of puck handling, the push-pull drill. The purpose of the push-pull drill is to get their eyes up ice and be able to handle a puck in a dangerous situation. If a goaltender is able to protect the puck and be confident out of the net, they'll be more likely to play the puck in a game and be confident doing it at full speed. The drill requires one shooter and one goaltender. The pucks will be placed at the top of the circle and they'll be chipped on goal to our goalie. The goalie is able to stop it and get their eyes up ice before the player moves. They look up, they protect it, and then the player is able to move from there. The player sets off and skates towards the dots. Once they get to the dot, the stick of the player is going to be put to the left or to the right side, so the goaltender knows which way they're going to go to. When the player skates around, they're a threat to the goalie. So the goalie's job is to rotate and protect the puck on this side of their body. As the player skates around them, they're going to get their eyes on the player, they're going to look over their shoulder. As that happens, the goalie is going to pull to the other side of their body and protect it. The skater is going to go all the way back to the dots again. They're going to take their eyes up ice. This player will communicate back to the goaltender they are no longer a threat and they will call for the puck. The goalie will turn one more time and make a pass back up to that player. The progression for this drill is that two goaltenders and one shooter in the middle. The forward will give the puck to one of the goalies and they will repeat the same process of the drill. It's a smaller area going around the circle, so they must react quicker and they must get their eyes up. As the shooter skates around to one side, the goalie will protect it. The other goalie on the other side of the circle will now be the one communicating when to pass the puck. So as the goalie protects the puck to this side and then opens up to the other side as the skater gets their way around, they will make a pass all the way across to the far goaltender. The skater will now come all the way across and threaten the goalie in the same manner. In this variation, I'm going to pretend to be the other goaltender. Eyes up, here, good, here. We want to make sure that we have freedom with our hands to take care of where the puck is. If we lose sight of this or if we stand upright, we get removed from where the puck is, it's hard to have control over top of it. We stress that our goaltenders handle the puck like a hockey player. If we stand upright and we're not ready to make a play with the puck, this becomes very difficult. We teach goalies how to handle the puck, and how to use their stick. We want to make sure that they use all of the stick. They paid for the entire thing, we might as well hold it all the way up from the top. This doesn't allow us to get much leverage on the puck, so we make sure they extend all the way down to the top of the stick where the butt end is. The top hand, we give them the option. Some goalies like to go with their hand underneath, so they can simply push. We don't want them to flip the puck, though. The other option is they can turn their arm over top of it, which makes them feel like they have a little bit more control. Depends on strength and preference. When we're holding our glove upside down like this, so it turned over top, there's no grip as far as a, a normal hockey glove is able to grip the stick. We just have to make sure we apply pressure and we push really hard from here. Some goalies, if they have a freedom, they're able to close their glove well enough, can grip the stick and have a little bit more control, but we're relying on simply pushing the puck at the youth ages. We're not concerned so much about control. We're concerned more about pressure and making simple passes because we don't want to start flipping pucks and losing control of the puck. We want to see them push, make a solid contact with the puck and put pressure on top of it. When we're doing these plays, we want to make sure that our goaltenders understand the significance of playing the puck. It doesn't matter what age they are, they need to be confident in their ability to handle the puck. Mites, squirts, they can all start to adventure out. We want to encourage them to not be afraid to do this play because as they go down the road, this will increase their awareness, increase their ability and their hockey sense as they progress in their careers. 